Thank you for relentless love. As many times I want to do things my own way. You waited for me. You waited for me like that with open arms and welcoming me like the prodigal father. And I thank you for that. In 2017, um, I graduated from Texas Tech um, in Lubbock. And um, I'm someone before any major decision in my life, you know, I want to pray ahead. So right before I phased into the next part of my life, I, I prayed to God, like, God, what is next? And he told me something that kind of blew my mind. <laughs> he told me to come back to Lubbock. I'm like, come back. Like, <laughs> I don't know about that one, Chief. Like, <laughs> what do you want me to do in Lubbock? You know, as much as I try to fight it, you know, God constantly kept on bringing Proverbs 19, 21 in my head. And it's like, many of the plans of man, but the plans of the Lord always prevail. So I'm like, you know what, God, you know, I'm going through the season of trust. I'm going to trust you. So coming back to Lubbock, I'm like, you know what, since I'm going to be back here doing ministry work, you know, I might as well, you know, pursue my master, so my MBA. Um, and a requirement for our MBA was to take your GMAT. So I took the GMAT, <laughs> or better yet, the GMAT took me. You know, oh man, I, I bombed that exam, man. I probably shouldn't even showed up, to be completely honest. So now that I see the score and I submitted it anyway, um, and I'm just like, I didn't get in. I'm like, God, what is next? You know what? But it's like, you know, I'm foregoing a six-figure job, you know, working back here in Maryland to go do ministry work without any pay. But I tell myself, I'm, I'm going to trust you, Lord. Um, but this is the best decision I ever made. And I want you guys to kind of understand, like, you know, whenever you're obedient and following God's plan, I mean, he works on you for the future and the present time. I mean, during this time in 2017, not only did I go through situations that stretched me spiritually and physically, but it, it even allowed me to encounter my first spiritual warfare with, you know, principalities and spirits that were living in the house that I um, that stayed in, uh, past fraternity house. I mean, 250 words isn't enough for me to even like begin to tell the story. I mean, 2017, not only did I lose my grandmother, my parents went through a really bad time in their marriage. And that's the first time in 26 years that I ever saw my parents, you know, go through anything like that. But um, God remained faithful uh, through his grace and, my, and his strength to keep me obedient and faithful to his word, I, I not only, you know, am doing his work, but it allowed me to be in a position where I'm finally living in my purpose, you know? I, 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 I am discovering myself, I gain my own identity, I know who I am, and I thank God for that. So, um, and always, in all things, no matter what season you're going through, just remain obedient. You never know what your 2017 is gonna look like in 2019. God bless. Help me maintain all my peace. Help me maintain my sanity.